Hello everyone. So I'm Priya and today we are back at Tulsi Raisin Store. So what is the topic for today? Today's topic is how to calculate raisin for your different project. So how do you know that this raisin required how much raisin? So for that we'll be teaching you today how to calculate the perfect amount of raisin so that your raisin does not get wasted if you mix the more quantity and if you mix it in less quantity then you have to take the pain of mixing it again and again. That's why we're gonna be teaching you today how to measure the perfect quantity for your artwork. For that, you can uh, continue watching this video till the end so that you get the perfect idea how to calculate your raisin. So we have our epoxy raisin, art epoxy raisin, and ultra epoxy raisin. The difference between if you are still confused, ki which raisin to go for, which product. So all these uh, raisin explanation is already there in uh, on our YouTube. A video the video link will be shared in the description so you can get to know that and the description about all the pigments different types of pigments and how to use them that's also available on our channel you can watch that so now let's calculate how to calculate your reason for our MDF basis for our basis how to calculate that so for that you have to take your phone you can go on our website tulsireason.com and in that when you click on menu bar there are option different option in that you can select raisin calculator and open raisin calculator the first option is selecting the shape so first of all you have to select the shape if you are working with rectangle base or if you are working with circle base so today i'm going to mentioning about our uh, reason for this base we'll calculate it according to our circle base so we'll be selecting circle now the second question it's asking is which uh, raisin technique we're gonna be using because this is a base we're gonna be using a coating technique so we'll select a coating option and now the second uh, third question is asking is which raisin ratio we are using so as we are working with coating uh, technique on a base so we'll be working with box raisin our box tulsi raisin so we'll be choosing two is to one ratio and I was asking the diameter of this circle. So as we measure, the circle diameter is 8 inches. As you can see, it's 8 inches. We'll be click, writing it here, 8. And now it's done. It have calculated the perfect calculation for the reason and hardener, that, which says the total is 42 grams, 42.19 grams, and reason in which 28 grams and hardener 14 grams. So you can use this measurement to measure the resin and you will see that the resin is completely used with this base the base will be fully covered and there will be no resin left so this is the best to avoid any resin mistakes or any resin measurement mistakes now let's see how to calculate your resin for your silicon bowls so these are the silicon bowls to be using how to calculate the resin for that so first of all we'll go back again and in the uh, select option let's say we'll be calculating our reason for this tray so we'll be selecting the option rectangle because this uh, shape basically is a rectangle with a gate shapes but we'll choose rectangle here and after that we'll be choosing if it's coating or casting so as we are working with silicon molds it's definitely a casting so we'll be choosing casting now it's asking which reason to go for 2 is to 1 or 3 is to 1. So for the reason uh, silicon molds, we are, it's preferred that we use 3 is to 1 reason. So for the art epoxy reason, its ratio is 3 is to 1. So we'll be choosing the option 3 is to 1. Now it's asking the length and breadth of our rectangle. So for that, we'll be taking a scale measuring our length and breadth. So it's 9 inches and the other side is 12 inches. So similarly, we'll write it here, 9 and 12. And now it's asking the depth, the thickness of your mold. So what is the thickness? Thickness is this thickness. So how much reason is calculated on volume, basically. So it requires the thickness of mold so that it gives you a correct measurement. So as we can take a scale and the uh, thickness is calculated as per mm. So one centimeter have 10 mm, so we'll be calculating it like that. So it says it is of 11 mm thickness. So this base is, uh, this mold is of 11 mm thickness. If you want to pour the mold in half portion, like you want to do it 
do it in layers and you want to pour it half you can write it here 5 mm but if you want to complete the uh, tray in one go you can write down 10 mm so you have to write the thickness 10 or 11 mm 10 mm and now the reason calculation is here the total reason is required sent 66.45 grams and which reason is 575 574.84 grams and hardener is 191.61 grams so if you want you can round figure the amount like uh, 574 instead of 574.84 you can take it simply 575 because it's closer to that and similarly hardener if you want you can take uh, 192 grams so that way you can round figure it if you are working in a lot more quantity similarly if you want to put it uh, in the layers you can write here instead of 11 mm you can turn it to 5 mm and it will give you results accordingly now this is about our basic molds and basic shapes so what to do if you have to calculate it for your monograms or for these types of shapes uh, which are not uh, ca which cannot be divided into circle or which cannot be divided into any rectangle shape so how do we calculate reason for this much this uh, product so first of all you have to what you have to the basic uh, technique which we use is if you fill this with water so that it gets the volume of your water and then you can measure that amount of water in your measuring cups so the volume the weight of that uh, water you can uh, according to that weight of your water you can calculate your reason and divide it into accordingly similarly for these projects you can do the same technique you can uh, measure the volume of this product as per the uh, water pour technique but make sure one before you uh, use reason in these molds the mold are completely dry there is no water or there is no moisture in these because uh, moisture is not uh, friendly with resin so that's why you need to dry it completely before pouring resin if you are using our water technique to measure the quantity of resin now for the monograms you can uh, definitely divide it into parts like this is our two rectangles you can first calculate uh, the reason for this rectangle and secondly you can calculate the reason for this rectangle and then you can join them to get the perfect uh, reason for your mold similarly you can do it for other monograms and if the shapes are uneven definitely you can do, do the water techniques but in the water techniques because the water is of less volume or the weight of the water is very low that's why you can uh, also assume a little bit uh, difference in the volume technique when you're using the water technique but when you are using a reason calculator for the basic structures and everything then the re you get the perfect measurement for your reason definitely if you are uh, if your reason is more thicker then maybe in the dome shape like when your reason is thin it uh, covers more area that's why when you are calculating it for coating or for your surface and using a thin reason then maybe it covers more area and you require less reason but when you are working with thicker reasons which uh, does not spread much and gives you a dome uh, structure in that process and that is with that reason you may require a little more reason because uh, like uh, that does not the reason because of its thin viscosity does not spread much so that's why on in those scenarios you may require a little more reason otherwise our reason calculator app is very perfect and it gives you a very approximate idea of reason calculation and you can use it for any of the calculation of your goals basis or any of these projects I hope you have find this video very useful to you as a beginner this is a very uh, good thing to know how to calculate your reason so that it does not waste your reason in any of the projects all right uh, so hope this series of our uh, tutorials and explanation is working for you and if you need any of these any more tutorials or any more explanation do let us know in the comment section thank you for watching us and if you find this video informative do like this and subscribe our channel if you want any of these products they are available at our website toolsreason.com link is there in the description below and definitely you can use the reason calculator feature on our website which is available for free and you can use it as many times as you want another explanation or another tutorial so join us back on our channel in our next video thank you so much for watching Bye.